Five ways to pass the ball. Let's go. Well, that was a quick intro and we're gonna kick this off with the Rabona, which is a skill that can be seen quite often even at the highest level. And my best tip for you to start practicing Rabona is to bounce the ball from a wall to yourself and then shoot the Rabona because it makes it a lot easier for you to put some power and air on the ball. Now, some people out there will tell you to shoot the Rabona with a toe poke like this, but I would stay far away from this style because shooting and toe poking the Rabona makes it very difficult for you to generate any power to a ball and lift the ball off the ground. Instead, you want to use this part of your foot right here and in a way drag the outside of your foot on the ground when shooting the Rabona. This also makes your body positioning to change completely. You can see the difference. If you're going to toe poke the Rabona, you're going to be standing like this, but if you're going to do it the right way, you're going to be positioned a little differently like this. Again, start by practicing by yourself by kicking the ball to a wall and once you get more comfortable with the technique, it's time to start experimenting with the Rabona. Number two is the lob that you can use to, in a way, scoop the ball over the head of the defender. And pulling this off is extremely simple. Step one is to place your toes under the ball like this and after that you simply just wanna whoop, scoop the ball in the air like this, get some momentum behind the ball before releasing it. Now this skill is especially useful when you're caught up in a tight situation and need to come up with a creative way to lift the ball whoop, towards your teammate. And another great feature is that the lob is actually pretty easy for your teammate to receive and control because usually the lob doesn't really have any difficult spin on the ball. And although the end result might look a lot like chipping the ball, these are two very different techniques because when you're chipping the ball, you are physically kicking the ball, whereas with the lob, you're just whoop, scooping the ball off the ground. And this exact thing makes the lob very easy skill to execute and quite an unexpected way of passing the ball. Number three doesn't have a name that I'm aware of, but I'm just gonna go ahead and call it the roulette. This is one of my personal favorites that's still pretty useful in real life game situations. Now, this is essentially the Marseille roulette combined ha, with a pass. And executing this is somewhat easy as long as you understand the mechanics of it. You wanna start off with the ball in front of you and stepping on the ball, let's say, with your weak foot. You're then gonna roll the ball back while turning your entire body and then Bam! Stepping onto the ball with your other foot. Now, the rule of thumb here is that if you start the move by stepping onto the ball with your left foot, you need to turn your body, your left shoulder first, like this. And vice versa. If you start off by stepping onto the ball with your right foot, you're gonna turn with your right shoulder first. And lastly, since we are trying to pass the ball to our teammate, you might wanna add extra power to the pass by taking the second touch with your heel instead of rolling the ball with the bottom of your foot like this. That makes sure that the ball will go all the way to your teammate. Number four is the back pass. And let's be honest, this is not a skill you're gonna be using very often in real life game situations. But it might just happen that there is a high ball approaching you, you then wanna whoop, turn your back and tap the ball a little bit like this. Now, the risk of failure is pretty high, so I'm not sure this is something you should spend a whole lot of time practicing, but hey, if you wanna entertain the crowd, go with the back pass. Once again, I have absolutely no idea what this last one is officially called, but I'm just gonna take the freedom to name it the stepper. And for me at least, the first player that comes to mind when thinking of this skill is CR7, who has pulled this skill off time and time again throughout the years. Now, to pull this skill off, you want to start with the ball in front of you, you step on the ball with your weak foot and you take a little hop step with your standing foot while simultaneously letting go of the ball and afterwards tapping the ball with the inside of your foot. It can sound a little bit confusing, but it's extremely simple to pull off and it looks like this. Honestly, this is one of the coolest looking skills that's also one of the most simple ones to learn. And once you get the hang of it, you can try and start mixing it with all kinds of cool looking combinations. And it's a pretty cool way to try and catch the defender off guard. 
And there you have it, five different ways of passing the ball that you can experiment with if you're bored of simply using the good old inside of the foot pass. Obviously there are a whole lot of different variations I could have picked, but maybe we leave those for future episodes. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. And if you want to learn tons of other cool skills, you can check out the playlist on the bottom left corner of your screen. That's it for today. I'm out.